Okay, so in this demo, we'll see how we can create a custom dashboard to monitor some very simple AP stats. And to do this, uh, we have a lab an, um, environment with three uh, Juniper Mist APs, and we're going to use the WebSocket API from Mist to continuously receive the stats from the access points. So here's the setup. We have uh, the APs connected to the Mist Cloud, and the Mist Cloud will send us the AP stats on a regular basis. It's about once a minute for each AP. So in my case, because I have three APs, we are going to get the stats every 20 seconds. And then what we do is we have a Python script program that uh, gather all of that data and then only keep you know, the, the metric that we want to keep track of. It does a couple of uh, cleaning up and, and calculation as well. And then it stores all of that data into a database. So for our database, we're using InfluxDB. And then as we receive the messages, we will save the data into the InfluxDB database. And then to display that uh, information in a nice dashboard, we are using Grafana, which is another system that allows us to customize a dashboard and you know, display the information that we are gathering over time. So that's like the, uh, you know, the setup and it's running continuously in the background. So if we take a look at the Python, you can see this is the, um, the, the Python uh, script, it's running. Every time you see a line, it means you're receiving, we're receiving a message from the MIST uh, WebSocket API. And you can see the type of data that we're keeping here. We're keeping uh, the name of the AP, the MAC address, the number of clients connected to that AP, uh, the number of 2.4 clients, number of five gigahertz clients to get the, uh, you know, the band distribution information. And we're also getting the in utilization 2.4 and five gigahertz channel utilization. And then we can display that information into a dashboard. So you can see here we have the Grafana dashboard, custom dashboard that we created. It's uh, very simple. We wanted to focus on a couple of metrics. So on the left, you can see that we have the total number of clients connected to the APs. Uh, you can see also the band distribution 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, 13 clients on 2.4, 10 on 5 gigahertz. Uh, I have more 2.4 clients here uh, because the lab it is my house pretty much and I have a lot of IoT devices that only connects to uh, 2.4. So you can see that on the left and then on the right you can see the channel utilization. You can see the 5 gigahertz channel utilization pretty low. I did a couple of speed tests earlier so that's why you can see a little bump. Um, and then you can also see the 2.4 channel utilization a little higher, uh, shy of 20%. Uh, so it's you know very typical channel utilization. I can track this uh, over time. So that's pretty nice. Now, if I take my phone and if I disconnect my phone from the Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna record my screen so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So we'll go to the Wi-Fi settings and I'm just going to turn the Wi-Fi off. So now if we go back to the Python script and if we wait for the next message that's going to come from my AP, I believe my phone is connected to AP1, so you, you'll see the next message we receive from the AP issues should tell us that we now have 15 clients. So we'll just wait a couple of seconds for this message to arrive. So you, you can see we received the message and you can see that we now have 15 clients. So if I go back to my dashboard, you'll see that now I have 22 clients. It automatically refreshes uh, and I have nine uh, five gigahertz clients. So I can go back on my phone, uh, re-record the screen again for you guys. Um, and then I can go back and re-enable the Wi-Fi, wait for it to connect back to, um, you know, the my five gigahertz society, which is Symphio WPA3. Uh, and then in less than a minute, we should see the dashboard showing us that the clients will come back. Uh, and same thing for the message here, we should receive the message. Um, so this is an example that, you know, with these tools, a, lot, a little bit of Python integration using the WebSocket API from Mist, you can create a custom dashboard to only display a couple of information that you would care about or you would want to display. Uh, we can actually display these like without the fluff around it. So you could put it on a big TV outside of a room or uh, inside a knock or something like this. So it's, it's pretty customizable and it's pretty awesome that you can, you know, you do uh, monitoring or create your custom monitoring solutions like this now with the tools we have available from uh, from the vendors. 
Um, so if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to get in touch with us, and then we'll see uh, uh, we'll see you guys for the next demo. Thank you. Thank you.